Hey guys, it's me, Sprite VR. Um, I'm currently working on a completely different body cam realism video, but I'm going to show you how to make one, um, a VR body cam realism video. So, um, this is just how I make them. Same with Left 4 Dead realism. So, we're going to start off with the good classic body cam that everybody knows. Now, um, my personal favorite is Los Suenos, but, you know, obviously everybody does Axon. Um, because Axon is obviously the most popular body cam, but the way you can get these overlays, I will link in the description. It's actually a ready or not mod, but there's shaders slash textures. Um, there's textures in there that have overlays for body cams, and there's a ton of different ones. So there's obviously Axon 3, Axon 4, there's Debanco, Los Suenos. Uh, they have a news one um, for the Los Suenos police, which is actually pretty cool. I plan on using this, but I'm not sure. Um, they have Motorola Solutions, Motorola 500, ProVision, and Wolfcom. So, there's a bunch of different ones here. You can experiment with whoever one you want, but the one I use for Left 4 Dead Reels, and I think it was three, I use Los Sueno SWAT. And this one's actually my favorite one. I feel like Axon's way overused right now. So, it's nice to have Los Suenos. It's not super in the way. Plus, it's red, and it looks nice. So, we're going to do Los Suenos. And now you're gonna import your um, you're gonna import your footage. So this can be recorded in VR with Bone Lab and Boneworks. They have their own streamer cams, which will automatically apply a fisheye effect. So you will not need a fisheye for uh, those kind of games. A ton of games have uh, spectator cameras, where will add a fisheye effect. It'll make your game look good, head smoothing, whatever, like Vertigo 2 and whatnot. But the game I play called Blood Trail. And Left 4 Dead 2 does not have that. So if you're going to take your own recording, this is the effects uh, I'm going to use. So we're going to go ahead and import a video here. So here's some blood trail footage. Um, we're going to put that here and we're actually going to swap this. So your main track is going to be your gameplay. You're going to have your body cam overlay applied uh, here. So everything should already be positioned but we're gonna go ahead and extend this out for as much as we need it here. Now everything here I do is in CapCut. You're gonna need these effects. Uh, they're all on the mobile version. They're also on the PC version. Um, so I recommend you get CapCut. But as far as the textures, like uh, the, the body cam texture um, goes, this should that should be relative. That should be universal. So. We have our footage, um, and you're just going to scroll until you find the part you want, and here's the part I want. And we're going to go ahead and do a fade in, we're going to do a transition, we're just going to do a basic fade, we're going to do 3.6, we're also going to do uh, 3.6, we'll do 3.6 here. So now this is going to fade in. And now it just kind of looks like normal gameplay. Um, so we can go ahead, move that forward. And we'll go three, I think, because we have a little glitch at the beginning here. So we're gonna do three, 3.6, because we have a little glitch, and I don't want people to see that. So we're gonna go with 3.6 here. Okay, so we've got our footage. And now, uh, if your video is not color corrected or anything like that, you can go ahead and do it. Um, the filter I'm going to use here, I'm going to use, if I remember, it should be here. It's called Urbanoid. Yep, we're going to use Urbanoid. We're going to put it here. It's a little too dark for my liking, so we're going to go ahead and bump the strength. A little, a little like that, so it's not too dark. Um, because a lot of people complained that my last video was a little too dark, and I apologize for that. We're gonna go ahead and turn the temp down. You don't have to do this, it's just for this video. I think it works a lot better. Go ahead and turn down the temp. Now make it a little more blue. So, got our footage. Now we're gonna apply some effects here. Um, now for the body cam, audio, I'm gonna to go to voice changer under audio. And we have um, voice filters. And there's three different ones that could work here. Um, there's vinyl and lo-fi and megaphone um right now cap cuts kind of bugs so we're gonna go with lo-fi and then we'll adjust from there so now we reload cap cut now it sounds 
more like a body cam. Now that's obviously a little too much because body cams don't always have it like that. So we're gonna go over to audio, voice changer, under voice changer, and I think you might be able to change it. There you go, yeah. So you're gonna go to your voice filters, fast forward here. You're gonna go to voice filters, or voice changer, sorry. And you're gonna bump the strength down just a little bit. Sounds a little more clear, but you obviously have that little bit of grit. There you go. So, got that. And now we're going to apply some effects to the body cam itself. So, effect. Now, there's two different ones you could do. Um, actually, there's a few. So, there's VX1000, which VX1000 makes it look like this. Oh, and a little tip. If you put the effect over the body cam filter, it'll affect the body cam filter too. And we don't want that. So, you're going to put it under it. And same with the filters too. Anything you do, put under this. This should be on top at all times. So, VX100, turn down the twist. Um, turn down the filter if you want. Um, sharpen, keep that lateral chromatic aberration, put that to 36, and then blur, put that to 11. So, you're going to get these large little body cam rings, which not a whole lot of body cams have this. They're a little more short, but it works. So you can do that. The only problem is it turns your frame rate down to piss. So like, it'll make your frame rate look really bad. Um, that's the only problem I have with VX1000. It looks great. It's just I wish it didn't look. It didn't f with your frame rate. So that's VX100. Then if we go down, we have Fisheye 4, which I use for body cam realism for bone lab a while back so you're going to turn down the filter strength you're going to leave around 43 you can experiment with that and then size you're going to put it completely 100 then texture you can put that to like 19 um this has a white vignette around the body cam ring which isn't i'm not a huge fan of but it works it doesn't mess with your frame rate it adds a little bit of a fisheye effect but i just don't prefer then there's fisheye 2 which just don't don't use this this isn't great and then you have fisheye 3 which is not bad at all fisheye 3 is actually pretty good i think there's yeah fisheye 3 is pretty good you're gonna do turn the twist you're gonna put that to zero filter you can do a little bit if you want but i'm gonna turn it off turn down the strength you're gonna put that to like 48 then your range you're gonna turn that to zero so this is what Fisheye 4, or sorry, Fisheye 3 looks like, which is really good. I really like this one. It adds your little body cam rings around, but it also has a little bit of twist towards the end, which actually really insinuates things like muzzle flash and light. See how it flashes there? It'll make your edges a little brighter. So this is actually really good. I really like this one. Now, if you don't like the Fisheye rings, you can always just do a Fisheye with itself which you could put here, which is what I did for Left 4 Dead Realism, I think it was four, the newest one. And you could boost the fisheye to like 33, and you can do it like that. And then if, if you still want some kind of ring, but you don't want it to be crazy, you can add a vignette like this, then add a vignette, and then now you have your fisheye. A little less messed up so yeah um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use vx or fisheye 3 sorry i'm gonna use fisheye 3 that's what i'm gonna use for this we can actually bump up the strength so we're gonna do that and you can experiment with some other things um, like surface blur or edge glow. Um, edge glow doesn't look too bad. I actually kind of like edge glow on, on this. Because it'll make muzzle flash pop out a whole lot more. It'll make things like close up here look like smudges. You know when you smudge a camera and it makes things uh, look like god rays? That's what edge glow will kind of do. Give you that body cam smudge. Which I think actually looks insanely good for darker videos. So I'm going to go with edge glow on this. 
And then obviously you can extend this to the variety of your video. Also, it looks really good for indoor stuff. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put Urban Oil on that because it'll make the environment darker, but because of edge glow, it'll actually make the indoor brighter while still having the dark outside. Really quickly, for the, just as a quick little send up, there's a few things you can do here. Um, you can obviously do a little bit of noise. I don't prefer it, but you can do a little bit of noise. Put that down to like three. Actually, that looks really good for dark video. I'm gonna put that to two. We're gonna actually do that. And then obviously you have TV colored lines. I don't like that, um, but it's, it sometimes works. Um, then you have DV texture you could put under just a little bit. And then Seagull Digital is what I did for so if you don't want to use the body cam, like uh, the Lost Suenos or Axon, and you want it to be like a recorder, you can always do Seagull Digital. Anyways, that's it for today's video. That's how you make body cam realism videos. Um, so let me see y'all's body cam realism. Let me see uh, how you guys do. Let me see your best creations. It doesn't matter what game, just let me see your best creations. And then, you know, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it was of use to you. And uh, yeah, subscribe. See y'all.